uh, it's sunny today. It's about 65 degrees in middle Georgia. Um, I'll show you some of these bees. They're just trying to kind of hold on for dear life with all this wind ripping off of the off of the lake here. But you can see they're still piling out, uh, doing great. Uh, you can see I'm I'm here beside them. They're focused on uh, bringing in uh, red maple pollen and a little bit of early nectar. So uh, man, they got a job to do, and bee season's really kicked off. Hey, today one of the things I like to do is uh, about this time of year. I out here may not have much luck but I'll uh, I'll show you what I like to do it's usually a lot more calm than this but I like to use a uh, just kind of a earth toned plastic worm I don't use any weight I like it to be more of a finesse rig um, I love a loose rod uh, this is actually a HMX rod that I got off, off of uh, one of the sporting magazines that I subscribe to. But I do love a uh, speed spool from Lou's. So that's the gear we're gonna go with today. I like to just toss it out and uh, just be as slow on a retrieve as possible and let those big bass just feel the water temperature change as they'll start to get a little bit hungrier move around a little bit more not be so lethargic and I just like to feel for those bass next thing you know hopefully we'll get a good hit be able to drag in a monster here and then let them go I don't really keep any of them out of here I just catch them and release most of the time okay well that side of the lake was way too windy I'm gonna come over here to the quiet so as I'm doing that I check one of my swarm traps here with a bucket doesn't look like anything's in it just yet but uh, hopefully in a few days we'll be able to take that one down so let's see if this side of the lake's a little more quiet We're over here with this wind break all the ducks getting off the water I did just see a bald eagle I'll try to get it on camera we have lots of bald eagles so if one comes over I'll see if I can get it Let's see how this does over here. Much quieter. All right, well, one of the things I noticed as I was walking along here, look at these red maples. They are really blooming out, just as pretty. Uh, and you can see this is what the bees will be coming around here after. This one's a little bit behind, but uh, that's what the bees are after right this minute. Well, here's a good example of what beavers will do when uh, when the water gets up high. Man, they just absolutely devastate things. So this is a, beavers have been in here. You can see the pile of wood around it where they're just absolutely chewing up all these hard Had a lot of luck out here, unfortunately. The water's pretty rough. I'm not sure I can blame it completely on that. Uh, water temperature just hadn't changed enough yet. Get them biting like they should all right well I guess that's why they call it fishing and not catching uh, wind was pretty rough today can't blame it all on that water temperature just needs to increase a little bit but hey saw some really neat things uh, bees are got a lot to start um, really foraging on uh, there I've been watching them here with the wind just trying to stay stay in line and fly there's a real heavy wind today it's just blowing them everywhere but uh, Hey, bees are doing great. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, I'll make sure and catch a few bass when it, uh, when it warms up. But uh, hey, if you like, subscribe. God bless.